I thought I had seen it all, but man, is this one just even prettier. This is Team 4's Core Type R, like, you know, the Civic Type R, the Acura Type R. And uh, basically, what we're going to get into today is this is an all-in-one, ready to go, the prettiest of the prettiest, the cream of the crop, some of the best artwork, theme work, video snaps, everything in there, but all put into one. And uh, it is pretty. You're going to like this one. I mean, you're just going to want to look at these visuals because it is killer. It's a slightly larger download, but uh, it may well be worth it as, like I said, one of the prettiest things I've been uh, experiencing. And everything works. So let's check it out. We got core. We got it all uh, taken out. Let's go see what we got here. There's a readme file here, and it gives you all the instructions and everything. Looks like... Um, got pitch three and, and John Joe um, this is a cream of the crop build by corm team master artist p1 ch3 it is pretty cool it's got a lot of music too um, was decision with type R was to create a build that only the best of the best hand selected game for only the best system with the beautiful complete art and all the all of it will fit on a 500 gig well yeah well within 500 gigabyte once again using retro fe as the front end um, this is the Titan theme comes pre-installed there's some other themes as well you'll see um, special thanks to all these people. All right. They have a Discord. Here's your controls. Um, set up for 1080p. And then there's a Discord. Joy2Key does... All right, so <clears throat> here we go. We, uh, you know, saw most of these videos here. I'm going to get out in a second. But uh, you do have all these Triforce games. Here we go. We're checking these out. These are nice. A lot of people, you know, don't like setting these games up. Um, so, you know, you get the Mario Karts, GPs, and uh, fairly explanatory. Then you got MAME over here, which is all your arcade games. And uh, if you look into your screen here, you should be able to see all of them in the lower right-hand corner there. Yeah, so you got about 249 arcade games total. But, I mean, look at this. Like, you click it. It shows you the marquee. They have an HD uh, widescreen image here. Like, super HD, right? And then it drops down the video snap. And I'm not going to be able to do that with every game. This video would be way too long. So, we're just going to, you know, go through uh, kind of fast. So, Demon Front, one of my favorite games for the main... I'm gonna stop at a lot of my favorite games, like like Don Hachi. You know, I love that they, uh, I love the soundtrack, and uh, again, love the high def pictures, and then and then I have to go back to Don Kong. Feels good, feels good. Uh, so, you know, first off, it is a thing of beauty, right? And the second thing, it just it really gave me little nerd nerd chills, you know, going through this, like. It really was, um, you know, it looks really good, you know, um, it, it, and I, what I want to say here is that I think a lot of us are used to like 8-bit, 16-bit, and so we like that theme, that look, and a lot of you are more purist and might like that, right? And this build is giving you like 1080p, 4K, photoshopped, you know, everything's kind of glamoured up. And then you get to see the 8-bit, 16-bit behind it, right? You know, the, the old-school games with the shaders. And, you know, I, I could see both sides of people enjoying both type of artwork. But, you know, this one, I, I just, it felt, it was really nice. You know, I've seen the other one, and I haven't seen something this done up before into this detail. Now, this thing does not have a ton of games. Like, I've definitely seen builds that have, you know, 10,000 games. So... It's not as crazy as far as the amount of games, 
but um, I think I, if I do my math right, there's gotta, be, I'm just guessing, I'm sure it's written down somewhere too, but 50 times like 15, it's probably close to like 750 games or so, maybe less. And uh, so we're just going through MAME right now. So these are just your arcade games, your CPS1, CPS2, CPS3, you know, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, your Tekken, your Mortal Kombat, your Punisher, the Simpsons arcade game is going to be on here. Um, you know, uh, Paperboy, X-Men, uh, Street Fighters on here. You'll see later on in the video they have a collect. So now when I go back, <laughs> you'll see that I have all these menu items here. I have arcade, favorites, handhelds, consoles. So let's go ahead and do games for Windows first. And yes, there's some newer games on here, like Street of Rage 4, Alex the Kid, Guacamelee 2. So there's those games for Windows. Then we go into consoles. And look at you got all your consoles here, right? Like not all of them, but you have some considerable ones. Even Sega Saturn's on here, GameCube. So it's going to Super Nintendo to get started, right? So here you go. You got 100 Super Nintendo games. So not huge. There's over 700 Super Nintendo games. Ninten uh, Nintendo 64, you got 50 games here. And, uh, you know, I guess that's my, one of my complaints about this thing is it doesn't have every single game. But it has most of the popular games. NES. I accidentally jumped into the game here. But I'll go back out. You see, you see it just loads up Retro Arch and you're in, you're playing games. We got 50 NES games. Again, NES like has over 700 games, so it only has a select few. Nintendo GameCube, though, you got 35 games. Quite a bit for the GameCube. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to like this, though. It definitely has newer systems, so we got 13. So you, you are going to want to have somewhat of a, you know, a, a $500 or more laptop, I'd say. You know, an i5 or better. Dedicated graphics would definitely help on this. Uh, you got Zelda, Breath of the Wild. And again, you'll see later, there's a whole Zelda collection where you see all the Zelda games on this build. You got Super Mario Brothers. You got your Mario Kart. Now, these HD graphics and anything, everything look really good, uh, especially for these newer systems, right? So it goes really goes well here. I gonna load a Dreamcast. So I accidentally loaded a game again, like but you can see it just boots right up. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. All right. So we got the Sega Genesis. You got 50 games. And I forgot to look at Dreamcast. Dreamcast, I think it's had like, it has way under 50. I know that it's like 50 or less, but. You got Sega Saturn. You got 20. Four. Die Hard Arcade. So by now you, you kind of get this, right? Like it's they call it the cream of the crop because they have every game, you know, the best of the best games. So PlayStation only 25, which isn't a lot, but it's a good amount. I thought this had a lot more. You know what? It has a lot more systems than I thought, but not as many games as I thought. And then back to Super Nintendo. Now we go to handhelds. You got your Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. So here we go on those. And look at these these uh, video snaps. Really nice. Uh, you got 28, 26 or, or so uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. I went a little faster in here. You know, I don't play a lot of this stuff on my PC, the portables. I mainly play consoles and arcade, but, you know, I'm, I'm showing it to you here. You got 25 Game Gear. And then uh, we have uh, a few other... Uh, handhelds on here as well. PSP. These are going to be much larger games here. You got uh, a dozen games here. So actually not that many on the PSP front. And then back to Game Boy. Alright, you got settings and uh, you got collections. So we go back to there. And so let's go into a collection here and you just get the idea of it's going to be all the games for all the different systems in one place for a particular franchise. So we'll go into Zelda here in a second and we'll check out the Super Mario one as well. So you see here you have like the, the SNES, the, the handheld Zeldas, and then you got your N64 and you got your Wii and your Wii U. So here's the settings. You got bezels and shaders and you got Titan settings. 
you can change the um the look uh you can do the wheel art i'm going to show you that in a second and you can change it to another theme as well the uh, atlas theme so here we go let's go ahead and look at the wheel menu in a second we're going to scroll to it there we go so it'd be like a wheel here as you see that as it's scrolling there's a little sample for you and then you have atlas which is kind of like what the core it's my understanding that the core team really you know utilizes the atlas that's kind of like was their showcasing build or you know was one of their highlights and uh, that's it that's all the little things on this build and as you see it is a thing of beauty now here's that uh super mario collection i was telling you about i did i remember i did do this and uh, I'm just going to play Super Mario Brothers. I know I could play something way better, you know, play like a PSP game, something that's going to look way better, but I thought I'd keep it classic, go with just the normal Mario Bros. And, uh, you know, it's a polished game, goes with a polished build. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's running good. I, I did play some PSP, some Dream, everything was running really well, as far as, you know, some builds, you know, the, the loading isn't right, or the settings aren't right, it's not set to the right, uh, video drivers, you know, there's lots of things I've ran into in other builds, and, uh, this one's running really good. So, this is for the PC, this is the Core Type R, it is on backups.me, I'll put a link how to get to that, you can also join the Core, the core Discord, this runs off of Retro FE, um, love it, I don't think it's for everybody you know because it is you know kind of very it's it's very uh, detailed right and I don't think a lot of people are gonna add to it so if it's something you just want plug and play I think a lot of people are gonna like it for that reason uh, I'm loving it I think it is a thing of beauty love what I'm seeing here just want to share it with you all that's what I think let me know what y'all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one